This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another tour review. And today, my first Iron Factory Samurai series, uh, Drift, or... Nah, I'm not gonna say that. So, yeah, um, I won this on... Uh, my uh, on a stream with uh, Deluxe Baldwin, he was doing a uh, draw for channel members, and I won this. So, um, and then right after, he posted his top 10 videos, top 10 figures of 2022, top 10 legends. Uh, but uh, he started with the two worst figures of 2022, and this was one of them. So, I already opened it. I understand why Deluxe didn't like it. He's a huge collector of legends, so his expectation might be a little higher than mine. Um, there's a couple issues with this one, like just the things get in the way a little bit, but I'm still really happy to have this in my collection. I don't have a drift. Um, he wasn't a you know prominent G1 character. I think he might have been a G1 character in Marvel Comics or Maybe he started in IDW, I don't know. The only drift I know about was from the 2015 R.I.D. show. And I thought he was a decent character with his little uh, mini cons, kind of. So. so I'm looking forward to reviewing this. And I'm actually going to do the transformation from robot to car on screen. And the reason is I needed help. And I only found one video uh, on YouTube that showed robot to car everybody showed car to robot so I said maybe I'll be helpful I'll uh, you know I'll, I'll do the best I can and you know don't expect much because there's a reason I don't do transformation on camera so thanks for uh, stopping by guys uh, before I do the review uh, make sure you uh, later you check out the voice acting playlist on my channel something I'm super proud of it's the main feature and also check out my sponsor DJC collectibles fantastic online store and at the end of the video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now, let's roll the intro. Okay, guys, I rarely do Legend Scales review, so, you know, bear with me. Uh, I guess let's take a look at the uh, the box first uh, here. I always put it backward This is the front of the box and then it says something Iron Samurai series Kuchu Norimun Tsuki, I guess H15 plus uh, Not much symbols everywhere, which could be the symbol for soup I, cause I don't read Japanese QR code or something. I actually never uh, took a look uh, and then you have the different poses of the robot, and then you have the uh, alt mode. And it looks it looks really good. Oh, I just realized I have him mistransformed. All right, let me get back to you. And I'm back, and I had the shoulders wrong, so it's very uh, it's way better now. So you have uh, the instructions, uh, which are. Not bad. I'm not, I wasn't a big fan of the uh, Alpha Tryon, but this one, uh, they, it, it, the only thing it doesn't do justice to is the legs, which is the reason why I want to do the transformation on screen, because the legs are really, they're extremely tight. Uh, so, you know, hopefully, you know, this will help a couple of people down the road. Uh, this is just the insert, like, you know, where the figure is held. It did its job. And then you have all the accessories. So these are the sheets. You have two sheets for the uh, Ninja Toe. And you have uh, one sheet for the Katana. Normally a Katana will be a standalone weapon. And then you'll have a Wakizashi to go with the Ninja Toes. Uh, see the bigger hole? If you take a look. That's, the, uh, that's for the uh, Katana. Or maybe it is a Wakizashi. Uh, hold on. Nope. I pick up the wrong one. Hold on. Ah, uh, there you go. So see, this is, a, and then you can connect it in the back, in the front, you know, anywhere there's a port. And uh, so, you know, I thought I was, uh, you don't need it for the alt mode, but I think it's a nice little addition. Now you have this piece here, which basically uh, you can, 
you have this here and then you plug it on the side and then you can plug it in the back so uh, not there well maybe you can plug it here basically this is an alt mode piece it's gonna come between the legs to kind of connect everything and hold it and because the instruction don't show you how, what to do with everything so it's the two-part uh, piece and it connects in the back and you'll see in transformation then you have all the different hands are really tiny so you have the jazz hand I'm trying to show it properly but now you know what let's do with this so with the jazz hand really good two of these you have close fists that's actually what the figure came with uh, but honestly the ball joint that holds the the hand it doesn't uh, hold properly you have the gripping hand like this and that's it for the hand well the one I have installed right now it's the open palm uh, open gripping hand so but the thing is that they're super loose like you'll transform them and then they just come off so that's slightly annoying but you know they, they do the job and now the figure itself looks really good the paint on this guy is really well done I like the helmet the samurai helmet with the uh, little blue eyes looks really good you have the front here uh, clear blue well not clear but pale blue and then the uh, more royal blue it could be another color you guys know I'm colorblind black silver looks really good uh, this is uh, colored plastic and then the pale blue uh, and the silver it's all painted looks good uh, the crotch area uh, the gold highlight looks really nice and then you have you know what's I don't know what's that piece of armor called but uh, the hip covers uh, with the knee covers uh, that it gets in the way a little bit uh, the leg black with a little bit of uh, that purple uh, that blue piece here marine blue yeah it's not royal it's marine blue sorry and then you have the gun metal here with the gold looks really good and then the feet you have the wheel underneath so it's uh, it's fairly stable and I like the, the way that they did the toe. It looks like those sandals that you saw in, I don't know, uh, Kill Bill. Um, Lucy Lou was wearing something like that, you know. So you have the, the toe mark. Uh, I think that's really well done. I mean, it does look like a sa samurai robot. They did a good job for that. The big pauldron, you know, 80s woman shoulder pads. Looks really good. So the figure itself, display, perfect like nothing against it uh, it's a little hard to pose for me just not used to these uh, these scales but uh, it looks really good and now the weapons totally forgot the katana I really like the look of it the gold with the yellow and then the blue uh, in the hilt looks really good and then the two little ninja toe you know the little the gold I, I'm, I don't think it's gold plastic I think it's painted a pale gold and then you have the super metallic one like I really dig it looks really good would have been nice to have a leather handle you know uh, but it's it's that you just molded and painted but uh, if you want to have a authentic uh, samurai sword you want to have a nice leather grip so all right so that's I'll show you the back cleans up nicely you know a uh, bit of ports and holes but no technical waffle uh, looks good and this should be closed yeah it's fiddly things do get in the way with this guy when you're trying to move him around and pose him everything moves when you move one part so that's annoying but overall it's really well done and actually for the transformation after that you'll see I will remove the hands because they just pop off all the time so 
All right, so let's move all of this. Let's do some size comparison with uh, other legends. This is the Mech Fantoys uh, uh, Rebel, which is Orion Pax, and I added a little uh, cartoon sloppy symbols. Looks really good. Uh, so Mech Fantoys is bigger than the Samurai uh, series of Iron Factory. Iron Factory Alpha Tryon. So Alpha Tryon's a maybe a half a head taller. This is a stylized version. I really like this one. And Core Class Bombers, and they're about the same size. You know. So, so this drift scales well with uh, the core class figures. And now I'm going to shoot myself in the foot and actually do the transformation. So what you want to do first is move down the arm and then pop the hood. Pull it over like this. And close it back here. Then you want to... I like to put these out of the way like this it's on a ball joint with the uh, swivel here not swivel but you know rotation uh, yeah I'm gonna remove the hands right away because this is gonna be in the way say boom pops off careful with that happens way more than it should if you want to bring this up here so that it lines up with the hood And then when you move other piece, it's going to unpeg and you're going to have to restart. So good luck with that. So this, to turn it this way, it's going to close over the arms later. Uh, the arms are going to go this way. So you want to put the uh, arm guard underneath. Sure, that's it. So then, want to close it? Yeah, there you go. Leave it like this for now. So then you're gonna open up the skirt on each side. <sighs> Pop a joint. There you go. Maybe I'm too rough. I don't know. So once you open it up, you wanna push it back. gonna be fun bear with me guys I'm not gonna put some music on and because then you're gonna just see me mess up without comment so then you come on everything gets in the way the Lux was right everything gets in the way you're gonna turn this around like this and then you're gonna extend everything backwards because you want to Clean this up. Come on. <laughs> yeah, regretting that decision right now. It's gonna be a terrible review. There you go. So you wanna line this up and then this here is gonna come under here. Whoop. So it lines up like this, so that afterwards, this part here is going to end up on this peg here. That's going to be really tricky to do with this setup. Like everything needs to line up perfectly and it's really hard to do. Uh, but I'm going to finish with the, the arms because the rest of the legs, they need a lot of attention. So you want to, you know, create the window like this. And this is going to come here in the back. You do the wheel cover. So, you know, we have our car shape. Then it's gonna, that's going to be the tricky part. You want to turn the legs this way. Turn it around like this. All right. Then. Okay. You have to take the shin, who's now facing backwards, and bring it, uh, maybe if I show it like this, but things, they do get in the way. Let's remove, you wanna, ah, there you go. You see this? This is a super tight joint. So you think you're gonna break it, but you won't, okay? 
and then you want to do the same thing with the other leg actually you know what start with that uh, hold on did I yeah it's on the right side so you want to push it uh, sorry I'm pushing it on the wrong side push it underneath ah there you go snap your finger at the same time good job all right so now that they're kind of lined up what you want to do is rotate the foot like this and then push it backwards and then fold the toe all right one more time like this and then this way so then what you want to do is take this peg here and put it in that hole here and it's not superbly easy all right once you have that see so you have your wheel here and then everything else moved and it's unpegged let's clean that up a little bit there you go you want to keep the leg separate separated like that and you want to do the same thing here put that peg that hole boom there you go so once it's connected and split open like this there you go you want to take that accessory make sure that this thing is this way and it comes clean here you know and then this goes upward this is where the sword is gonna go and there's a port I don't know if you can see it there's a port here we want to plug that in and then there's another hole here for those pegs here it's not super stable And then you have to line it up with the other side. And oh, I'm getting good. I got it on the first try, but it's not clipping. Why is it not clipping? There must be something in the way because everything gets in the way with this guy. Hold on. Well, everything seems to be... Oh, it's this. Is it this? I don't know. I guess it's... Oh, that's how it goes. All right. So see, there's big gaps. And it, it's, it doesn't clean up nicely for a back end, you know, or a back window. So then you want to go and take this hole here and plug it in that port there. So you want to lift the arm up a little bit. Gonna give you some room. Then you do your magic trick. Trying to get that in. There you go. And then you re-peg the front end that we pegged at the beginning and then it unclips. Wow. And now you push the arms back down. And it's gonna work. Come on, there you go. There you go. All right. So, ah, come on. There you go. Yeah, nice and cleanish and then what they tell you to do is actually take the sword and slide it here without it popping and then this going into the hole there so there you go that's oh, hold on something moved here and I put it down huh it's not super be lined up sorry Eh, anyway, I think my feet, I did something wrong with the feet somewhere, maybe. Anyway, it's really hard to do. So, there you go. That's Drift and car mode. He looks good. I just don't think he cleans up nice with the sword sticking out on top. Like, honestly, who would ride a car like that? Well, probably some rich kid I guess but the car itself I mean let me remove this 
car itself looks good I mean I didn't line up the feet maybe I just pushed them back too hard and that's why it's I, yeah they're too uh, further back but still looks good I mean, this is a good looking car I like it you know this this is a little weird uh, but the rest I mean he has a iron hide inch you know so we're getting used to that you have a couple ports if you want to I don't know put in the port and then put uh, two daggers on each side the ninja tool on each side I guess you can do that it's an option so there you go you want to do some size comparison sure I'll do some here he is with Origin Bumblebee, Dinobot Slag, and Firetox Roller. All right, and now let's do a... Yeah, okay, I'm going to do a time lapse of me putting him back in uh, robot mode. Wish me luck. So there you go, that's the uh, the pose. I might uh, pull the uh, sword in the back. I mean, it cleans up nicely with in the back with uh, the sword in the sheet. So it looks really good. Uh, it's kind of hard to line up everything because this is still connected to the, um, you know, the front guard. So when you move it, it uh, so it's better to clean up in front and just display, display them in front. He's a good figure. I mean, it's not the best I've seen, but I still think the engineering was well-intentioned, I guess. I mean, it, it's... I, I I just don't get this piece. I would have made him made something different to clean up the back. But, you know, it's... It, I guess it's a standard in that series. I don't know. I don't have any other samurai from Iron Factory, so hard to tell. But... Uh, I like uh, how you can put all the weapons on him, you know, so now he gripped this one from this sheet here and you can pull this out and, but I mean, I, I can't imagine somebody doing stop motion with this because, you know, the hands don't reach all the way to where the weapon is stored. So it's uh, something to have on the shelf that looks uh, really good. So I'm going to really be happy to add this guy on my uh, Decepticon. Like I have a shelf of non G1 uh, Decepticon so he's gonna go there and he's still gonna look good so um, I'm really happy thank you Deluxe for sending me this figure it really means a lot it's good recognition for everybody who's supporting the channel that he did a, uh, a raffle like that so that's it's it's you know I'm gra grateful for that and you know any new figure is always a good figure so and a free figure is even better so thank you Deluxe I really appreciate that I hope I didn't you know I know you're gonna agree with most of my review if you watch it because it's not one of your favorite toys so but I'm grateful that you uh, sent uh, your extra copy to me. Thank you. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.